This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and today I'm doing a bit of this because I have these for the Core Class um, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee set. And uh, yeah, basically it's my son's uh, figures, but we both opened up Optimus Prime with trailers and he has the Bumblebee. I have the KOG one and he had the core class and he was super happy and I had stickers for both because I got him the stickers too because they look good and uh, not gonna lie the uh, views on my uh, core class review set uh, really did well so I was wondering if the toy hacks uh, might help uh, boost the channel a little bit but before I do that I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel something I'm very proud of and also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store. And at the end of this video, you can get your 10% discount code for anything Transformers. And now, let's roll the intro. Okay, so you know we've seen this set before. The uh, Optimus Prime with a different color than the Kingdom uh, Core class. Uh, I prefer this deco. Uh, you have the axe, which we didn't have before. You destroy everything you touch, Megatron. <laughs> it came with Nemesis only, and then you have the Prime gun. You have a very plain-looking trailer, and then you have uh, the Bumblebee, which is a pretty bad mold but you know it's for my kid it's his first bumblebee that rolls uh, so he's excited you have the adapter which there's a QC issue on mine it keeps popping off uh, but I'm still able to sit the trailer on it and then you have the uh, roller with the extremely hollow wheels but it's not bad and then for the decal it's only one sheet on foil backing uh, it looks good I mean you recognize the trailer uh, decal right here with uh, a spot for the Autobot logo, the Go ramp, uh, a couple of things here that I'm not too sure. This looks to be going on this section here. Yep. And then you have a couple of uh, license plate which I found interesting. You have a Peter, you have a Prime, you have an 833, and you have a P Racer, so Penny Racer. I think that's really cool. But you don't have a well, you have 833, which is B, but you don't have a Bumblebee. So that would have been nice. You have some nice window decals. Uh, you know, prime window decals. So this is going to be a really fun set to apply. Let's uh, check uh, what uh, they look like with uh, decals. This has to be the greatest toy hack set I've ever installed. No joke. I had so much fun. And it looks so good. And there's some retro stuff in there. It's awesome. So we're gonna start with what's left. I have two yellow pin covers. Uh, one Autobot logo here. And the uh, two uh, headlights for Optimus Prime. So you use pretty much the whole thing. So that's always good. Bumblebee and Robot doesn't get too many decals because most of are for the uh, car mode. Uh, but you get, well, actually, specific to Robot mode, that's it. That little triangle there. That's what he gets. So, all right, that was easy. Optimus uh, gets a little more because, well, he's Optimus. Uh, so you have one decal here and one here for the crotch plus the belt you have two you know like they covered the already oops sorry the already painted yellow so you still see on the side the painted yellow and then you have the gold chrome decals you have the classic knee and you know what i did not know this was a classic knee i figured it was for from g1 but now that i do have a g1 prime I understand why they do it. That's it's been a decal for Prime since 1984. Same thing with uh, Earthrise. They did the same thing, although a bit differently. So yeah, so you have the knee decals. Uh, you don't get anything for the gun as usual, but the axe does get uh, gold chrome shine on both sides of the blades. 
That looks really good. And is there anything else specific to robot? I think that's pretty much it for robot specific. And now in vehicle mode, um, I just want to, you know, I push it down like it should and then flies off. So that's a little disappointing, but, uh, you know, it still works. The toe do their job and then you put that there and it rolls fine. Well, no, it doesn't roll fine. Those tiny wheels don't roll. Uh, Bumblebee is fine though. Rolls really good. So does roller. Uh, but yeah, I uh, could use a little more details, you know, the traditional blue and silver stripe here. Uh, to go over that uh, that logo, and then you apply a new logo. Uh, that's very G1. That's the same symbol I have on my trailer, so that's really cool. Uh, attention to detail on the trailer and the accessory again, fantastic. The drone is more G1 than the Earthrise one, and the roller is included, and we didn't have it in uh, Earthrise. So yeah, and then Bumblebee, uh, you know, looks uh, good. Uh, it's not a beetle, but it's a uh, fun little card anyway. Uh, already had good painted windows, but uh, we're gonna see some new uh, improved uh, windows pretty soon. So, all right, let's send these guys to the paint shop and see what they come out like. Prime, I know you're not evil. I believe in you. Okay, and Bumblebee in car looks better. Uh, I mean, it's not the greatest mold, but. Uh, I like the windows, uh, you get uh, four on the side, like even a little tiny one here that wasn't easy to apply. One big window, two big window, new uh, headlights, they're looking good. And then you have uh, the uh, tail lights and then gray, I don't know, I don't know why they put a gray bumper there or a, anyway. And then you have that thing which matches the original uh, Bumblebee. So that's really cool. My only, th it's just when I, you look at the decal for the first time, it kind of looks like the matrix, the way that it's separated. I'm like, why are they giving us a matrix with this set? But you know, it, uh, when I realized what it was, I was super happy. And then I put B on it, uh, because Penny Racer doesn't mean much to my kid. But if there's room on these guys, I'll try to put, uh, I have two Penny Racers, uh, so I'll uh, probably try to add one to my uh, original the Bumblebee. And then for the Prime, you do get a small window decal here. That looks good. Uh, you have two new uh, windshield. You have four little headlights. You have the Prime plate. And that's pretty much it for the cab mode. So we're gonna move on to the actual uh, trailer and that's the fun part. Gee, even their transforms are the same. And the trailer, very interestingly done, because this is already a molded piece. So you have like a ridge in the middle all the way here. So this, the blue line, so it's uh, five decals. So you have the blue line on top, and then you have the blue line at the bottom. Then you have two silver decals all around and then you have a new Autobot logo that you can slap on it. It's very well done. It's kind of, it, long decals are, are always hard to align and apply and sometimes you, you know, don't align them directly at the right place. So it's a bit annoying, but you know, it, it, it turns out pretty good. I really like how they did this one. Uh, nothing for the back end. Um, but I do have a leftover plate, uh, so I'm gonna add one, well actually right now. Look at that live application of decals. Uh, we're gonna put that right there. Come on. Alright, I'm putting the Prime because my son doesn't know yet who Peter Cullen is. And he doesn't have much interest in watching the old show. But he loves the toys, so, you know, it's good. But he loves the Rise of the Beast movie. Oh my God, does he love it. So, all right, we're gonna transform all this and uh, do the uh, vehicle and the inside of the trailer. You did it, little friend. You saved me. Okay, this is going to make sense in a second. 
This is an awesome decal set. It's not the biggest, but it's really cool. First, let's take out Roller. What you get for this little tiny guy is the Autobot logo. And then you have a very true set, two decals here. Hold on, let me bring me some more lights. You have two decals here in the back. And then if you turn him around without dropping him, you get two more. So that's cool. That's the first time I see stickers on rollers. So uh, happy about that. Uh, but then you don't have any decals for the drone because he already, already looks like Super G1, you know, with the scanning antenna and the claw. Uh, and then even the two little uh, missile pods that you have here. But they replicated the station, the Diaclone station, with stickers here and here. Uh, then this is an addition because of the shape of like it's not part of the original decals But if you look at the whoa Forgot he was gonna roll uh, if you look at the, uh, the The big decals on the G1 they replicated that with uh, four small decals on each side and that's amazing That's really cool. I really enjoy that and then you have uh, the uh, the go ramp to match the go here uh, So that's cool and then on the side, that's not really representative of the G1, but it's really cool. So you get four decals underneath here to do a quick uh, line of buttons. And then you have the four screens, uh, the matrix, some graph, a solar system, some more. Uh, that's the trailer of Optimus Prime with Prime. It's super tiny and it's really hard to see. Uh, and then here you have roller. Bumblebee, uh, Bumblebee's face, and then the axe. So that's really cool. When I saw what they were doing with this, like at first, when you just look on the sheet, what are these blue decals? What's the use? And when I saw what they were doing, I'm like, oh my God, this is genius. So that's why I think this is probably one of the best set I've applied because it really brings back all the G1 nostalgia. And I know if you're not into G1, this means nothing to you. And I, I respect it. Uh, but for me, uh, this is so much fun. For my kid, it, they just look prettier. You know, he's six years old. Uh, he likes the fact that we, you know, have uh, similar uh, trailers and Optimus Prime. That's fun. Uh, but I think, I think I'm the winner here. Like, he's going to be able to play with stuff that I played with. You know, all that sm smaller. But it's still so cool that we get to share... And have fun with that so yeah because we're gonna we're gonna have fun now all right so thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this uh, toy hacks review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment love reading those keep coming back i have more on the way and remember nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole take care